the first time I ever taken a TRX Force. Well, yeah, TRX Force specifically with 3S LiPo. Don't expect 60 mile an hour speed runs with this thing. Even though it has 3S LiPo, it's still not extremely fast. But this is actually twice as fast than as if it had that two cell LiPo that I mostly use. I believe it was like around this speed on that 2S. This is the lowest gear setting by the way. Watch what happens when I take that 3S power on uh, TRX4 out on the street. It pops wheelies. It's just like my Mini E Revo. Most importantly, you can do stoppies. And if you can do that, <laughs> pardon the wind. It's kind of windy over here, over here in the San Francisco Bay Area. Oh yeah, that is awesome. That is awesome. I should buy some more 3S LiPo's. Oop, flip over. Enough of that fun. I'm gonna go do some crawling. Here's the TRX4 more up its alley. Rocks. Big rocks. It's actually a good photo shoot over here. Okay, a little closer to the water. Not too close to where this thing is gonna submerge. This thing is dead. This uh, pond is pretty deep. Quite a chore. Rock crawling is fun, but it is quite a chore trying to find out your route. Oof. Car's about to tip over. That. Look at her go. Look at her. We got some little friends over there. This is quite fun actually, it really it is.
guys are wondering, why am I only doing this on a toy little car with a 4Runner body, where I can just do it with my real 4Runner? Yes, I can do stuff like this on the real on my car, my real 4Runner. Only problem is, it's only two-wheel drive. I don't have the four-wheel drive version of the car. So this is my only best bet for now. No more rocks, unfortunately, but hey, there you go, a lot of fun.